Assalamu alaikum and uh, hello Alan. Uh, I have seen your recent video and I made a video about it because I didn't know uh, who you were and now since I know you thanks to a relative of mine uh, I wanted to make this uh, short uh, video comment. Um, well first I presume that you are a sincere truth seeker and I salute you for this attitude towards Islam. However, you have to take into consideration that, uh, yes, you are taking a very good step, you're reading the Quran. However, you have to uh, consider uh, taking this into account. You have to have an, a comprehensive approach to the Quran. Because if you want to understand the Quran as a whole, you have to uh, make connection between its verses and also know the context in which it was revealed. And the best way to understand and have a better context is to read the biography of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be a blessing, peace and blessings be upon him. And um, the book that I recommend, uh, which is sort of concise and uh, not very elaborated, it's When the Moon Split. You may might find also other um, uh, biographies written by uh, different authors. Uh, that is good. I mean, you have a lot of uh, books that were written uh, in uh, to to write about the life of Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him. So this will put things into perspective to know when the revelation started and what did the Prophet do and how he started calling people to Islam and then how he moved from Mecca to Medina and then establishing the Muslim community and then uh, how Islam started growing. And this is very important uh, for anyone who wants to learn more about Islam and the messenger of Islam. Now, the main point here, which is the focal point, uh, the evidence for Islam. What do Muslims have as an evidence for their faith? Well, the book that you are reading in your hands now uh, is the greatest evidence. Uh, you will come to realize after or and through reading the Quran, that this cannot be written by a man in the 7th century who didn't know how to read and write, who didn't have the modern knowledge that we have right now, not only the scientific, but also the historical, the geographical, the, uh, the previous civilizations and previous faiths. He didn't have the knowledge of the Bible and the Gospels since they were not in Arabic at his times. Uh, the first translation of the uh, previous books, the Torah and the Gospels, was about 400 years after the death of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Also, you will see that he did not benefit materially from his uh, call to Islam. Usually you see leaders and kings uh, lead uh, their people into wars, for their personal glory, for their glory, personal glory or for the glory of their nations. And uh, you can see that Muhammad lived a very humble and simple life. He didn't have any fortune. He didn't have any personal uh, pleasures. Uh, even the marriages were mainly to reconcile between different tribes. They were mostly for political and humane reasons rather than for his personal uh, pleasures. You can see that many of his wives were old, were, were either widowed or even uh, divorced, and this is also another fact. Um, as for the misconceptions about Islam, you can easily find refutations to them. For example, the most widespread misconception about Islam, that is, Islam is a terrorist religion. Now, since we all know that terrorism is uh, the acts of violence, against innocent civilians, you will see, for example, in Surah number 2, verse number 190, that Muslims are only allowed and exclusively allowed to use violence uh, against enemies in the battlefield. And it is strictly prohibited to uh, offend and to hurt or harm um, any civilians of any faith. You can also see in Surah number 60, uh, verse number 8, um, and also the previous verse, verse number 7 and 8, that uh, this also confirms that Muslims are not allowed to use violence against uh, civilians of any faith, and they are commanded by their Lord 
to uh, coexist and to be kind and just with people of other faiths and and so on and so forth so as you read through the quran and this was also the same approach by others who uh, became muslim uh, as they were reading through the quran they they had their questions answered so as we said the major miracle of islam is the quran you are reading the book right now and to put it to put it better in context I highly recommend that you read the biography of the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him. And this will put things more into perspective and uh, you will see things within their context. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any inquiries, if any concerns, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, ask. Uh, you can send me by messenger on Facebook. Uh, I'm the one who's commenting right now, uh, posting the link to my video. And you can communicate in any way you would like, and I will try to help you as much as I can. My name is Sari Farah, and uh, thank you for listening to this video, and have my best wishes. Have a nice day. Assalamu alaikum.